I'm David Parrish from Latsiga School, and this is News 6. Here with a story on a unique medical service is Joyce Gutt. Life Flight is an air ambulance located at St. Vincent Hospital, a medical center in Toledo, Ohio. This service covers a 130-mile radius based from the hospital. Riding in the helicopter with the pilot are a registered nurse and a physician who are staffed from St. Vincent Emergency Room. A private citizen may not call Life Flight directly. If this happens, a first responder will be sent to the emergency situation. Those who may call the service are emergency medical services, fire chiefs and their departments, and law enforcement officers. A dispatcher will then ask vital information and locate the crew to the location and type of emergency. Response to the scene or to the hospital is only minutes away after takeoff. The air ambulance crew can then provide life-supporting procedures and medication to those injured or critically ill with the advanced equipment they carry on board the aircraft. In summary, Life Flight can practically bring the emergency room to the scene and provide critical care for all. Um, doctor and pilot are standing over there, and I'm the nurse. I'm Pat Yancey. And we travel within about a 130-mile area of the city of Toledo, so you're right, right close to where we are. And we've actually come out here a couple times to work right along with your people. Um, you guys are really good, by the way, and you get rushed up against the aircraft. And some people do, they get excited and they want to run up to the aircraft, and we'll tell people to stay back. Ball with a report on a very interesting animal, the buffalo. In the Otsego School District on Winston Road, David Apple has a buffalo farm. In the beginning, the farm was a hobby, but later Mr. Apple turned it into a business. He raises buffalo and sells their meat. When he's going to slaughter them, he plans it a month ahead of time. He can get $50 for the buffalo skin, $25 for the skull, and $1.75 per pound for the meat. At one point in history, the buffalo was limited in number. As few as 500 existed. Now there are at least 50,000 buffalo in the world. Mr. Apple owns a herd of 57. A buffalo lives to be 30 or 40 years old. Mr. Apple's oldest is five, and his name is Patrick. Buffaloes grow to be about six feet in height and some weigh as much as 3,000 pounds. When a buffalo runs, he can gain speed up to 35 miles per hour in just three steps. The Muppets are very popular at Otsego School. Here is our News 6 reporter, Christy Meek, with a movie critique on the new Muppets movie. Kids everywhere are rushing to see the Muppet movie. If you haven't seen it yet and, and you like to laugh and like, Mupp, like the Muppets, don't miss it. The Muppet movie stars are all of the Muppet characters. It tells the story of Kermit the Frog and how he came to meet the other Muppets. The Muppets all have the same dream of becoming big-time Hollywood stars. The movie shows their funny adventures across the country were be being chased by a man who wants Kermit to do commercials for his frog lay company. The Muppet movie, in my opinion, is an excellent movie for kids and adults alike. The current fuel situation is big news at in soccer. 
in Otsego. Here's Ann DeLuca interviewing local gas situation, Steve Alder. How much has the price of gasoline risen per gallon since 1970? Well, Ann, when I was a sophomore in high school, I pumped gas at a gas station in Bowling Green, and it was 35.9 and 38.9 a gallon then. So it's risen approximately 60 cents a gallon since 1970. Do you think the price of gasoline will ever decrease? Oh, I think everybody in America hopes it does, but unless we can build an automobile engine that is more economical, I doubt that it ever will because our supplies are being depleted here every day. Do you think the Iranian crisis will affect the price of gasoline in the future? Well, if we were, the United States was self-sufficient on its, on its energy and just used what we needed and didn't have to get any from Iran or any, any other foreign country, it would not affect it, but the way it is, and the, the demand we have in the United States says we need Iranian gas. So I do believe it's definitely going to have an effect on, on the price of gas and our supply. Are stations changing to self-serve because of the high price of labor? Yes, I believe a lot of stations are changing to a, a self-serve station because of the high price of labor. And I believe... Well, a self-service station can charge a few cents less per gallon, and I think a lot of people are pinching their pennies these days. And if they can pump it themselves and save a couple cents a gallon, they're going to do it. Several Otsego High School graduates have done quite well for themselves. Here's Joy Scott well, with a feature on our own Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams, a graduate of Otsego High School, is now attending Bowling Green State University where he is studying dance and theater. He is, skating. he is a skater who has appeared in many shows such as Holiday on Ice. Kevin started skating at age 9 in Tantagony at the Old Reservoir. Kevin recommends that children put on skates at the early age of 4. In the shows Kevin has skated in, he has torn many ligaments and fractured many bones. Kevin has six difficult stunts and plans to work on and learn three more in the near future. Kevin has been skating for 10 years. Even though he is a professional skater, he still has an instructor, Pam Thompson, who helps him learn new tricks. Kevin says he has had a lot of encouragement from family members and friends. On the ice, Kevin is nicknamed Hobo Willie because of a character he has played in one of his shows. Glass blowing is a true art. Here is our new six reporter, Lori Rickabach, with a story on glass blower Dominic Lubino. News 6 visited the home of Mr. Dominic Lavino of Grand Rapids, Ohio. Mr. Lavino is a very famous glass blower. His glass fibers were used on the Apollo and the Gemini missions which went to the moon. His glass pieces are shown in approximately 60 museums in foreign countries. Mr. Lavino works in his shop from about 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. He has been making glass since 1963. He wrote a book called Visual Arts and Glass. He says he enjoys his work very much. It takes him about one and a half to two minutes to make a small item, such as a small bird. Mr. Labino's glass is melted at 2,600 degrees. He has over 200 pieces in his gallery. His workshop is not open to the public. We hope that Mr. Labino will keep up the good work for a long time to come. Thanks for watching News 6. This has been David Parrish for Otsego School. Next week, News 6 will feature St. Louis Custer.